Hi there. So here's some stuff with Fairlongs towards Roundhouse, uh, his Engek shoe, uh, the double kick thing that he does. Um, pretty useless command normal on the whole, really. You can use it to poke with, but it's really slow, and some characters can even focus crumple it between it. Um, but one little known thing about the move is that you can use it on uh, as a meaty and also as a frame trap on someone's wake up. <clears throat> um, and on some characters, it can actually be the optimal thing to do. Um, so the first thing here is against Dudley. A lot of Dudleys against Fairlong like to use backswing blow. Gets past throws. Um, and if your meaty isn't meaty, then they'll get out of that too. But if you time it right, you can actually catch them on the second hit and get a full counter hit combo in a close face. Or whatever you want, basically. Um, I think you're going to be like about plus five or six or something on it. But either way, you can get whatever you want. Um, it's still good even if like the timing catches, like say there, on a double hit because... It still uh, gets you 150 damage, which is pretty decent, really. Um, That's pretty good. But yeah, I mean, I think it's a pretty what good option against Dudley. Like, yeah, man. Two hits. Uh, it's also quite useful against Viper as well. Um, if you think they're going to do EX size more and wake up, you can catch them the, exactly the same way. The only difference is that she's not as close, so you, the link you have to go for is crouching jab in the wreckers. Yeah, like that. And then cancel it. There we go. Bam shoot. Well done. Pretty good. Um, she can do EX size more faint and she can block it, but I mean, you know, that, that's <laughs> that's Viper, she's going to be able to do that. At least it's covering a couple of options. Um, it'll beat that. And it'll beat like Burn Kick as well, um, so, which is a common thing for Vipers to use on Wake Up too. so another option to use there. I mean, it's like using... Uh, Ryu close roundhouse, I guess. Um, that means surely it's all right against Rose. Um, surprisingly, it's actually pretty useful against Chun Li. Um, so much the same way. as trying to uh, beat a throw. Chun Li's will use like I kick a Sanshu. But you can use it in the exact same way and it'll switch sides and you'll be able to punish for whatever you want. It's a completely ridiculous punish for what it is. And even if your timing is like slightly off, you'll still hit her anyway. The other benefit to it is it always covers uh, her backdash too. So you'll always hit her out of a backdash with at least one hit. So an again, another great option against this character. The only um, tricky thing against Chun Li is that if you're using it with frame trap timing, it is really, really difficult to frame trap her crouching short. Um, the hurt box on her crouching short kind of lowers her a little bit so that the first hit of the Engek Shu will whiff. See there, it didn't counter hit him, it just plain whiffed because of the way that the move is. There you go, backdash punished. She's still kind of out, but you know she paid a, paid a little bit of a price for it. Uh, same thing with Oni as well. Um, Oni will use the like kick stomp to do the same thing, and it just behaves in exactly the same way. You get a full punish. So yeah, that's it. Peace.